Some were destroyed in battle. Others weren't completed. Some are laid up and can only dream about battles. But now they're getting a new lease of life. We recreate ships accurately according to their historical blueprints and send them into battle. World of Warships, Dry Dock. In the spring of 1939, the smell of gunpowder was hanging over Europe, and the French Naval Ministry approved an additional program on enhancing their navy. It included four new Kleber class leaders that represented the further development of their two existing Mogador class ships. It was planned to improve the project for 3,000-ton 1939 type destroyers by drastically enhancing the ship's anti-aircraft armament and fixing an issue related to the main caliber. Mogador's 139mm turrets had turned out to have operational issues. By April 1940, the AA defenses of the new Contretopier comprised three 37mm twin automatic guns, four 13mm twin machine guns, and four 25mm single automatic guns. The main caliber wasn't fully decided upon. It was planned to either switch to 130mm dual-purpose guns based on the armament of the La class destroyers or fix the issues of Mogador's artillery. As a result, the ships were never laid down and the construction order was cancelled after France capitulated in June. The world of warships engineers designed the leader's hull based on theoretical blueprints of Mogador by slightly increasing ship's dimensions and power plant's capacity to preserve her speed. The ship was made according to her status in 1952, taking into account additional upgrades defined by the experience gained in wartime. 57mm anti-aircraft guns, new guidance systems, masts and radars. The main caliber is presented with the four 139mm couple turret mounts of Mogador's model 1934, which would have outlived their issues by that time in reality. Thus, Kleber has become the pinnacle of the French destroyer branch in our game, placed at Tier 10.